YouTube, I'm back. It's the 15th of February, 2021. Um, I think the last time I did a fasting video, I was talking about, um, I was away from home. I was doing 48 alternate day fasting. And then I kind of messed up a bit with some fish and chips and a few other little bits and bobs that we don't need to go into now. It's just not important. Point is, I lost 30 pounds just before Christmas. And then over Christmas and New Year, I messed up. Um, I've put some weight back on. I hadn't been on the scale until recently. Last week I went on the scale and it turns out I'm almost 15 pounds up. So I've basically lost 30 and then put on 15. Imagine that. So I was sitting here trying to figure out why. Do you know what I mean? Like why? Why put in so much work? And I really couldn't figure out why I keep doing this. So after having a word with myself, I realised that when I lose a big chunk of weight and I'm really feeling good, because this has happened before, if you look back at old videos, this has happened before, when I lose a big chunk of weight and I'm feeling good, I'm then like, well, let me relax a little bit then and eat some of my favourite foods, because I know it's easy enough just to lose the weight again. And if I'm honest, it, it's quite easy for me to lose the weight again. And I think that's the, an issue that I'm having and it's preventing me from, from being consistent for long enough. So last week when I went on the scale and I realised I was almost 15 pounds off. I say almost because it wasn't quite 15. But now it's probably more. It's probably more. So let me tell you why. Last week when I realised that I was almost 15 pounds off, I decided to do 272s back to back. They were very, I did them, they were fine. They weren't a struggle. I was even recording it. Um, And what else happened? So I did the 72s back to back. I realised that I was, learn, I was losing on average five pound per 72 hour fast so that's like 10 pounds almost almost 10 pounds i lost last week then i was supposed to be fasting on the friday and i was supposed to break my fast on the saturday friday comes and i'm like well it's the weekend we're in lockdown there's nothing to do i'm hungry let me break my fast so i turn it from a 72 into a 48 and then eat Friday, Saturday, and then get back on to things on Sunday. Well, that didn't happen. Friday, I brought my fast. I can't even remember what I ate. I think it was some garlic bread, like nothing that was even worth it. Saturday, I fasted all day, and then I had something to eat in the evening. So I guess that was all right. But then yesterday, it's like, because I know I'm going back into a fast today. It's like, let's just eat out the whole of the entire world. Let's just eat everything in sight, because tomorrow you're going on a, a fast. So I was really there thinking my my mindset had changed back before Christmas when I lost the 30 pounds that I kept bragging about. My mindset had changed. I'm a new person. I understand everything now. And I realised that no, it can't have changed because if my mindset had changed, I would be able to stay consistent. Do you know how much times I could have reached my goal? The amount of time I've lost weight, put it on, lost weight, put it on. It's like for me, I've worked out I could lose 10 pound a week like this. 272s back to back, that's £10 gone. And because I know this, I'll have my weak moments. I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to give in, eat what I like, because it's it's just a couple of 72s back to back and I've lost the weight again. Well, so what, that's, what, that, what that means is I'm losing the weight. Yeah, fine, putting it back on. Losing the weight, putting it back on. I'm not getting to my goal because I'm not consistent for long enough. And I'm so tired of this. I don't know if I need hypnotherapy. I don't know what I need, but I know that I've got the discipline. I mean, I say I've got it. I'm not actually, I kind of proved it. I know I've got the discipline, but what's with the consist lack of consistency? So it's, it's starting to make me question, is my goal that important to me? Why do I have a goal of 150? So I'm sitting down thinking, why am I putting so much pressure on myself? Before, when I was like, okay, I want to lose 50 pounds by a certain date, I did not like that pressure. I didn't like it one bit. It was horrible. It was stressing me out. So I like the idea of making sure that I lose, but with no urgency, just doing the right things day by day, which I am going to do. I'm going to slow things down a bit. But before I slow things down a bit, I have to get back on track. I was down to 170 before Christmas and I need to get back down to 170 before I can slow things down a bit and probably just stick to alternate day fasting rather than your 72s and your 96s and things like that. My point is, I thought I'd figured it all out and I haven't because I keep doing this yo-yo situation and I'm so tired of it. Like, I'm really tired of it. I feel like my goal of 150 is, is that because... 
at 150 i feel more comfortable in clothes and and we all know how i feel about looking good naked i think it's important so here's my plan follow me for a week um, my son said he's going to jump on um this fast he's going to do 72 whether or not he will do it i don't know i mean i don't feel like he needs to do a 72 but there's no harm in him pushing himself and just seeing what he's capable of. So we're going on our walk now. Malachi, I've told them that you're doing a 72. What yeah, have you eaten today? No, I haven't. Are you sure, sure? I'm 100% positive. Okay. The aim today is 90, not 96, <laughs> 10,000 steps. Okay, let's meet you in a bit. So Malachi, what's the longest fast you've done? Two, two day. Three, four, five, six. Two day. Two day fast? Yeah. Okay. Um, and, how did you find the two day fast? Easy, light work. Was it was it dry or was you drinking when you had when you did it? I can't remember. Drinking. Drink what was you drinking? Water. Water. So the longest fast he's done is two days and he was drinking water. How do you think you're gonna find a three day? Light work. Just like the you see the two you see the two day? It was light work. This three day is gonna be light work. Simple. Guys, so we're almost at the park and it's day one of my fast and I'm already getting a headache. Can you believe it? It's my own fault, it's all that sugar. Guys, look at this. Disgusting. So this is the little alley thing. What do you call it, an alleyway? It's my humble bird. I walk down here, like to get to the park. But this is why I wouldn't go to this park by myself because especially in the winter when it gets dark early, it's a bit... Look at it, in the dark, <laughs> in the dark, this, it's a little bit spooky guys, and I really wouldn't want to walk it alone, so I only walk to this park if I'm with someone, um, but once I get to the park, it's just so, it's nice and open, it's a brilliant little area, so I'll see you in the park guys, in the park. Over there is the pond and once upon a time, I think it was actually last summer, I was walking around the pond and there was a little girl, she must have been about two, three, running towards the pond. It was so scary. I had to actually, um, I had to actually run after her but then I think her mom or whoever was with her got to her in time. So I've only, not, probably five minutes ago I got in the park and I'm already at 3,000 steps. I think I did a um, thousand steps at home, like not on purpose, you know, just I got my watch on so I know what's going on. Guys, so there is the lovely water. Awesome. What do you have to say to the people you about know, the water? You just gotta take it in, you know? Take what in, honey? Just take in the whole the situation, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, lived around here probably about five years. Actually, Maybe it's ten. Time. You know, it's ten years. And uh, one thing I do have to say is that there's some beautiful scenery, you know? <laughs> you really did. The sun shining, you know. Some good vibes, you? man. You know? What do you, what do you have to say about the whole uh, 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 ordeal? I just can't believe that there's so many people in the park. You know, go home. Yeah. I don't like... Uh, what's his name, Sage? Sorry. Yeah. But go home, save lives. Yeah? Um, Trust me, in the summer, this is the place to be, man. No, I'm saying, like, if this is locked down, and it's cold. Yeah. Imagine summer. Like this, like at this time of the day in the summer, they'll be able to walk there, would they? Nah, barely because I don't know. Yeah, it's just gonna be packed up. You know what I mean? Guys, the walk. I'm not even the at, walk is a challenge. I'm not even at. Um, oh, I'm almost at four thousand steps. So and we 6, need to left. six thousand. I feel I've like got, I've got five thousand left to do in the park because it's going to take us about 1,000 steps to get home. Right. Guys, I'm tired already. Yeah, man, it's a bit of a challenge. Not for me, you know, because I'm, no, I'm joking, yeah. Uh, I mean, we're just walking. It's not like we're overexerting or anything. But I was just saying to Malachi, as soon as I start to go like, uphill, asthma kicks in and I struggle. So it's like, I don't want to just lie down the flat because it's easy. I want to kind of challenge myself, but it's a bit hard for me. With, with the consistency then, you get me, that, that will, be, will come with more ease, you know what I mean? Because my plan is to actually be able to jog around the park, that would be nice. 
of course you like you're young you're not obese or anything like you get me <laughs> you're, still, you, you, you're not obese. no i'm just trying to let you know because what i'm trying to say is i think within a week she'll be able to do jog around, around here around? now around this way i personally believe within like a week She'll be able to jog around this entire, like oh, no, the entire thing, if we're consistent. Right now. Yeah, we have to do this every day, by the way, guys, for the next two weeks yeah? daily. Um, not to say after two weeks we're not going to continue. Stay grabbing on my shoulder. <laughs> Shut up. Not to say after two weeks we're not going to do this, but I want to do every single day for two weeks, just to see what walking 10,000 steps a day would do in cooperation with my fasting as well. Yeah. Trust me, I'm telling you, Probably like near the end of the week, it will be a jogging thing. It's not going to be like a walking thing. Um, we're not walking stupidly slow either. We're walking at a regular pace, but I just feel like with the consistency, is the, the ease is going to come during the consistency, you get me? Um, I think that's with anything, actually. That's true. It just becomes easier. You know what I mean? But yeah. What purpose? <laughs> <laughs> Let's kidnap <that> one. <laughs> We're back. Yeah. So we are on our second lap of the park. We're taking a little bit of a different route around the pond so that we can increase the steps because we've got like probably another 5,000 to go before I reach 10,000. So, oh, you know what I think? I think because the surrounding, like water around it's frozen, they have to stay there, do you know what I mean? You think? I think so. No, because then they would have been there the whole time while the water got frozen. How did they get there? <laughs> I think they can, because they must have come out of the water in it when it got too cold, but now that is... But can you see what I mean? Yeah. They're just in that circle there. Yeah. Okay, so guys, I just got home. I am at 9,000 steps. So... Um, I expected to get home for 10,000 steps, but it didn't work out. So what I'm going to do is keep my watch on. And then as I'm, press it for me, yeah. As I'm um, walking around the house, it will get to 10,000 steps at some point. But look at my heart rate, guys. It's at 100 right now. I've just literally stepped through the door. And I'm at 1,800 calories burnt. <laughs> Man, like I just, you beers on rough with I've the watch. done 10,000 steps and I'm at 1,800 calories burnt. I was just walking up and down the house so my heart rate is a little bit high. There we are. <laughs> Look at that, it's at 100. Um, and I'm currently drinking a lemon tea. Ciao. Hi guys, what's cracking? It is the 16th of February. Um, it's around lunchtime-ish and I thought I'd just come on. I almost forgot that I'm supposed to be recording this week. I've just finished my lemon water. I planned to do a dry fast today, but once I got up and started walking around, I realised I felt a little bit more weak, a little bit more weaker than I usually do at, on the um, my second day of fasting. Guys, this morning I got on the scale and I'm three pounds down since yesterday. So whatever it is, a water weight or not, I'm pleased with that. Um, Malachi has been a little bit grumpy today. I don't know if it's because he's hungry, but he's not usually a grumpy child grumpy teenager yeah he's not usually a grumpy teenager so it could be because he's fasting i don't know when he sees this clip he might not be happy with me but i only asked him to sort out the bins and he's snapping at me so whatever i'm gonna drag him to the supermarket with me just because i like the company um and i'll see you in the next clip guys we're about to go on a walk now no he's not going on a walk at all we're going to tesco and we're going in the car but i'm gonna walk around tesco so that counts Somebody yawning. Guys, we're in Tesco and Malachi is reminiscing of the things that he can't have. Gonna say anything to them. Look at his face. <laughs> he can't help himself. Hi guys, it is Saturday the 20th of February. Um, hope you're all doing well. So I thought I'd just do a quick clip to close out the video. I was supposed to be like vlogging the whole week and if I was really a vlogger there would be some issues because I found it quite difficult. I'm doing a video talking about the experience, for God's sake, the experience of the fasting and stuff. How did you find it? 
What's up? I'm gonna keep my hood on because my hair's looking a bit messy. I found it. You want me um, to have you jumping in like that with your hair spiky? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I found it okay. I didn't find it too challenging. They can't see you, man. Okay. I will admit, I have something to admit. Okay? You ready for the <laughs> confession? Go on. What's that song with Bosch? These are my confessions. Just when I thought I said all I can say, my shit on the side. So, she... so my confession is this. Why look after Jesus Christ? I can't see you. Confession. That I ate oh. just a bit after midnight, so technically it wasn't three days. I had, my, I had my suspicions. But okay, but you know, you almost, it's the most you've fasted though. What was your experience with it? Because you did two days and you was going on three days with this last one. So what was your experience? And then go, because I've was it was, it was all right. It was okay. It wasn't too bad. Okay. Um, it was a bit challenging, okay. mm -hmm. but you know, nothing's okay. too challenging. All right, thanks for visiting. I'm trying to close out my video. So guys, <laughs> Malika, you're going to break my neck. As you know, I'm a veteran in this game. Um... Guys, you know, it's just, this whole lockdown thing, it's like you really just find yourself eating out of boredom, don't you? Anyway, so I officially started my fasting little schedule on Monday. Today's Saturday, I'm six pounds down since Monday, but I know it could have been a lot better fact 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 because on my refeed what was supposed to be probably a one hour refeed turned into like a five six hour refeed but you know what i'm just not stressing anymore guys i'm not stressing i'm always gonna i can see myself always fasting like even if it's like 24 hour fast 20 hour fast i can see myself always fasting even once i've reached my goal but the, the pressure right now with everything else that's going on i'm not here for it you know I'm not here for the pressure. Being six pounds down since I started the video, I'm happy with. Do you know what I mean? So, that's it really. I hope you've enjoyed this little week um, with us, kind of, because I wasn't really videoing. I just keep forgetting to pick up the camera. And then when I remember, it's like three days of past or whatever, I don't know. But I'm happy with my results. And um, I'll speak to you in my next video, guys. Please subscribe and I'll talk to you soon.